Hello and welcome to round 17 Suzuka the Japanese Grand Prix It's gonna be a wet race by the looks of it again like the last race So we're gonna aim I'm gonna aim to see where we go And yeah let's get this done and dusted I am really intrigued With this Welcome along then to the magnificent Suzuka International Circuit, a stone's throw away from Isa Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. What surprises lie in wait for us today in the Japanese Grand Prix? We're southwest of the city of Nagoya today at a wet and windy Suzuka circuit. 3.6 miles and 18 corners make up a lap here, with sector one likely to prove especially difficult in these conditions. We should see overtaking into turns one and 16 today, and maybe a few Kobayashi-style dives into the hairpin as well. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again to offer his perspective. Let's talk about Lee. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lee lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Carlos Sainz, and Leclerc, Norris, Perez, Ricardo, and Pierre Gasly, Fernando Alonso, Vettel, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Sonoda, Ocon, Russell, Kimi Raikkonen, and Lance Stroll, Mick Schumacher, Alessi, Latifi, and Nikita Mazepin. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Right, let's see what the strategy says. Intermediate conditions all the way through. Okay, that's fine. And I need to do a car setup. Let's get the tyres up to temperature. There's a lot of looks good on the power unit cycle, so let's concentrate on bringing tyres and brakes up to temperature. Yeah, that was a lot of wheel spin for Jeff to me. Don't worry, I will be telling Jeff to uh, be quiet shortly, so it's all good fun. So I don't have to have him with me as I'm doing uh, commentary, so yeah. This is going to be a fascinating race in the wet. Like I said, two races back to back in the wet, so something's going to have to fold. <laughs> well, I watched Warsaw play yesterday against Rochdale, and it was a pretty close game. The both well the side the both through but the both teams drew nil nil. Yeah, we could have easily won it probably two, three nil. They could have easily won it one nil. So yeah. So that was an entertaining uh, day for me. But in all fairness I enjoyed it. And yeah. Shrewsbury might be getting relegated if they don't pick up their uh, point system in the next couple of games. They've been in League One now for about three, four years, and they're going to get relegated to League Two. It's going to be disgusting. But then at least me and Dad, my brother and myself can go to the Shrewsbury game and the Warsaw game to watch both teams play. So it's a bonus really, but. I'd rather have pure dominance over Warsaw by a league. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be a fantastic uh, run for the second half of the season shortly. So yeah, it's all good fun. Right, the degree's going to form in a second. Jeff's going to tell me. So let's wait for Jeff to talk and then I can carry on talking. Keep an eye on the lights. The start sequence will begin as soon as the grid has formed. 
Be ready with the clutch. Come on, lights. And yeah, so where we go. I've got a bit of wheel speed. Oh, that was a lot of wheel spin actually. But turn one. I've got the racing line, so it's all good fun. So yeah. The virtual safety car has been deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. There's been an incident resulting in a high level of debris on the track. Drop your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. I wonder what went on. How can I, how can I be over doing the... Uh, this is making no sense. I am crawling at a snail pace. Oh, it looks like one of the ST, uh, drivers has uh, come off. Probably uh, Mazepin knowing, knowing why I look. But I'll find out from the end of the race. Virtual safety car should be ending shortly, surely. It should end. If he doesn't, I want to know why. But yeah. Nearly a whole lap of the virtual safety car outs. Is it because it's too wet? Well, bring out the safety car. VSC ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. There we go, I've got to jump just about on Hamilton, but Hamilton is looking for a move on the inside, and I'll run a little bit wide just to uh, keep on the racing line. A virtual safety car, something's going on. Maybe not, just the other sector. And Hamilton's gone down the inside of me like hot knife through butter and I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it. Oh, I went a little bit off circuit but I'm holding it. Oh, Hamilton wants to play with the upgrades that Mercedes have brought to the team. Yeah, I've got a Mercedes unit as well, so whatever they've got, I've got as well. That's why Hamilton is so good. Yeah, it looks like one of the Hasses are in the pits. So, yeah, it's an interesting scenario now for the back end of the grid. But I'm all happy, I'm all good. I hope this race just plays out lovely. I can just maintain the lead slightly and just win the race would be ideal. Um, yeah, I don't know what to talk about today because, like I say, I, um, I had an action-packed day yesterday, like I say, going to the football. So, yeah. So this race, I might just think about talking about certain games that I might invest in, which is not... I've, I've been thinking about Jurassic World uh, Evolution 2. I played the first one when it came out and I enjoyed it, but the second one looks a bit more... Uh, I won't say toned down, because it's actually got certain best some good features on there that wasn't in number one. But I can't justify the price. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Yeah, I can't justify the price for the game, because... I am saving up for a PS5 and I know certain games can transfer over to the PS5. But I don't know, Jurassic World Evolution 2. If I do it, I want to do videos on it and I want to build the park properly. I want to do everything legit where I grind the game like I did on the first one. But what made me not carry on with the first one was because I did so much of it. 
and I accidentally accidentally deleted a save and he deleted all my dinosaurs so I have to go out and collect all the fossils again. ETA on this rain clearing up is about 10 minutes so just keep your concentration out there. Yeah, so like I was saying, so yeah, that's why I stopped playing Jurassic Record Evolution 1. Because I accidentally deleted a, a save that I shouldn't have deleted. But I don't mind. It's all good fun. I, I am watching Best in Stot actually, who does do the Jurassic World Evolution 2 uh, game. I know there's the game in Bieber as well. And there's a couple of other YouTubers out there that are covering the game. But for me personally, if I cover the game, I want to do a massive park and do a load of dinosaurs. Uh, actually, I've got to give you my top five dinosaurs that I like personally. Everyone knows, I say everyone knows, everyone's kind of favourite number one dinosaur is always the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And Great work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. And yeah, that, that, that's 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 the king of the dinosaurs in my eyes is the Tyranno. So yeah, that's my number one. Number two is the Velociraptor. Yeah, I like the pack hunters. The raptors are decent creatures. Then it is going to be the Ankylosaurus, which is an armoured dinosaur. I think we're still on the right tyres for the time being. Yeah, it's got a bone on the back of its uh, tail which can literally break a predator's ankle. And I think that's why they called it the Ankylosaurus. The fourth dinosaur that I like is the uh, Brachiosaurus. Long neck. I do also like the Argentilia, Argentiliosaurus, which is the uh, tallest and heaviest and biggest sauropod that has been found on this planet. And yeah, he, his span is actually quite big. And then the fifth dinosaur that I like is the Triceratops. Followed then by the, for the sixth, the Stegosaurus, the Lophosaurus. Uh, there's a few of us, Carnotaurus, Ceratosaurus, you know, just roll them ones off. Pterosaurus <laughs> uh, is the pterodactyl, I do like the uh, pterodactyl to be the uh, the flying dinosaur that I like, I'll put the uh, Pteranodon. There's not much difference between the Pteranodon and Pterodactyl, Dactyl, because people do get confused with the two. But I think one's got a small tail and the other one has It looks like a virtual safety car is being deployed due to an incident with multiple vehicles being stopped on the track. We need you to drop your pace. And this is the second VSC for the drop race. Your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Right, I'm crawling at 70 miles per hour. Or just under 70. That's a bit of speed around that corner. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. So, oh yeah, I also like the Spinosaurus, uh, Spinosaurus as well. As well as the uh, Dimatron. The bow got fins on the back but the Spinosaurus is actually a larger um, predator carnivore style uh, it, is a, it is a kind of carnivore but yeah the Dimatron is a smaller version of that and I'm not sure if he was a predator or a semi herbivore for certain dinosaurs we can turn and say yeah these are herbivores these are uh, carnivores but there was a couple that were in and out the mix where they could eat meat and veg, vegetation quite easily just by looking at the teeth on some of the uh, fossils that we have found over the last... The entire situation is an interesting one but I think the right call is to stick with what we've got right now Yeah, that we had over the last couple of years and a couple of centuries and so forth with digging up fossils to go to university to dig up fossils is a little bit of a disadvantage 
because I was going to be an archaeologist when I wanted to when I was growing up. I watched Jurassic Park as a wee lad, and I thought, yeah, man, I want to be a, uh, I want to be an archaeologist. I found out you got to go to university to dig up bones. You don't do that when you ransack a, a tomb in the pyramids of Giza, or you know, you find a shallow grave and you start digging like Time Team does. You know what I mean? <laughs> At the end of the day. You don't need to go to university for that. All you got to do is go from what... Well, all of it is... Um, f all of it is fossils. Because all it is is the calcium in the bones that crystallise to form over the rock that makes a fossil. So all you need to do is find out what's fossil and what's not fossil. <laughs> yeah, it makes me laugh. But talk about uh, JW though, Jurassic World. I am looking forward to Dominion. Because... I, I love all the dinosaurs, I've loved dinosaurs ever since I was a wee boy and I've got a lot of dinosaur DVDs from the 60s all the way through up to Jurassic World and there's some very bad uh, graphics for some of the early dinosaur films but that's what makes them unique because back then they had to use uh, camera trickery where they had to bring uh, a creature closer to the camera. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. We're leading our teammate by 19.6 seconds. Yeah, so they had to use camera trickery like I say. There was no such things as green screens and uh, CGI back then. They had to do everything like up close at one stage and then put the people underneath with by a camera, well by film cutting technically. And yeah, that's how they did it. But still a good way of making films. It's, I, I like the stop start animation films like uh, Tim Burton's uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Wallace and Gromit's Shaun the Sheep, you know. Stop start animation, uh, Chicken Run, that's another one. But yeah, stop start animation for dinosaurs is actually a pretty cool idea because it makes it more realistic when they move on the uh, film or the or, yeah it is the film on the camera so yeah uh, yeah in the comments below tell me what your favorite dinosaurs are just stay the top 10 or top 5 or top 3 that you like and yeah let's have a discussion about dinosaurs while doing formula one <laughs> i like to talk about random things which makes the videos go quicker for me i could talk about formula one and i could talk about xyz about formula one but like i've said my formula one stuff is pretty much old school prefer old school style formula one than the new stuff but that's just that me the fastest lap of the race keep this up but yeah but now thank you for everybody who likes and watches these videos that i do because without the support network of my subscribers and the viewers that I get viewed on I, I like I say I, I really don't know where I would be without you all because like I said in one of my Minecraft videos I was gonna walk away from doing my YouTube and yeah it looks like we'll be running on a dry track soon back to dry shortly so yeah I can't grumble it's uh, it's doable it's just that when I have a decline of uh, views or oh, my channel doesn't seem to do so well it, it sort of bugs me you know it sort of bugs me it puts me down a little bit but I persevere through all the bad times where I think is it worth doing and I sometimes I'm like yeah sometimes what's the point because it's the way I am it's the way I think it's like most youtubers that really face the same sort of issues you know, where, where do you want to be in five years time, you know what I mean, where do you want to be in ten years time? Will your channel be still around in ten years time? Nobody knows. Nobody truly knows. And I haven't run in Rich Mix for ages and I just don't see the point of running in Rich Mix. Or Overtake Mode I should say, which is basically Rich Mix. But, it goes a little bit quicker than Rich Mix. So, so I'll use a bit of overtake now down this straight. 
four laps to go roughly. So I had the rumbling, I got over four laps of fuel, I should have underfueled the car. But I wasn't sure if it was going to be intermediate dry or dry intermediate because it doesn't say at the beginning. It just says wet race throughout. There is certain parts of the uh, main title screen when you go before you go into the race. It shows you a weather forecast of indication of it might dry out and so forth. But I ain't going to grumble too much. I am thinking about upping the difficulty again now to 80 instead of playing on 70%. Because when I was playing on 80%, I wasn't even touching the top top 10, let alone finishing 15 for anywhere. I was like 20th to 22nd every time. It was just... I, I don't see the point of racing in that difficulty if I won't get nowhere because sponsorship is where the money's at and... Yeah, I, I, I could bump up the difficulty in a couple of seasons once this car is where I wanted to get it with the upgrades. But I don't know. I think it's more of a challenge though having a teammate to catch up to, catch up to you than uh, you to catch up to a teammate. Is that going to tell me another fastest lap? No. Because I was plus. Yeah, Ghostbusters Afterlife looks like a good film to watch. So I will be watching that at some point before it comes on to DVD. But yeah, like I said, I don't want to do some more videos on Ghostbusters. I want to, I want to, I want to do Ghostbusters at Three Master. Do a couple of missions that I've done before and just do them on YouTube to do them for fun. Same with the Ghostbusters multiplayer game, I've got that and I've done a few videos here and there on the game without commentary. So it'd be kind of cool to get people on the game and do some comms. I know I've got to carry on doing Primal Carnage with uh, Jay when he gets when he comes back online or well, gets back online. I'm not sure what, what's, up, what's up with him at the moment. I'll have to probably drop him a line and see how he's doing. Because when me and Jay were doing Primal Carnage, we had not just fun with the audio, but we had we had a good discussion about certain things, and it, it made that era just fly by. And it was just flowing. There was no awkwardness at all. It was just it felt like me and Jay knew each other for years, and yet we only met just. Just over a year ago, we met. He, he, he stumbled onto my channel, and he asked me uh, if Primal Carnage was worth. And I said, "Yeah, it's kind of worth it if you want to just do a little bit of PvP against dinosaurs." I said that PC have got the better version, which is true. PC has got the best version because PlayStation haven't spoken to the developers properly, and the developers ain't going to give PlayStation the new updates because there's there's something going on between the two companies and I, like I said in that video I hope it comes out before the PS5 or when the PS5 gets re-released because even though some people got PS5s the PS5 has still got a few issues and that's why I've not got my PS5 yet it's because I'm waiting for all the bug issues and controller issues to be rectified and yeah so it'd be a little bit more stable to play certain games so i'm looking forward to that when i get my ps5 so i'm hoping that primal carnage on ps5 gets all the updates and it'll be a better flowing game because we are we're a little bit stagnant with uh, primal carnage being uh i think it's about oh that is i guess it's probably about 10 up update difference to our version to the PC version if not maybe more but yeah I play it daily and I enjoy it now do I enjoy playing as a human or do I enjoy playing as a dino well I prefer playing as a dino in all fairness 
you know, I like to run around as a raptor. If um, ping is an issue because of certain people's internet, then players are kind of tourists, but he is buggy because you'll see on some of my videos when I play as a car now I get the sprint speed straight up and I can run at players and as soon as that stamina bar goes down and gets refilled uh, and as it and it has its max that to run your car run again it, it's a little bit buggy there's a little bit of issue there with the car now but car nows are good we have five laps of fuel remaining the T-Rex, Bino and the other big carnivore dinosaur that's on the game they're good if you've got an open map like um, airbase and there's a couple of other maps that you can use but the close quarter maps a bit like uh, Doc uh, they, they need carnos and uh, raptors, Dilophosauruses trying to do it to some degree if if you want to get good at the game you want to go to the class quarters them are the best i know to play as every human has got their own perks like sniper she's got perks to drop health she's got a tranquilizer gun to stop to, to slow stamina down downside is out the sniper rifle isn't powerful enough to do a one shot headshot so yeah but that's why i run around as the commando because Grenade launcher, hand grenades. I can drop ammo if I don't want hand grenades. But hand grenades coming better than uh, this ammo. Is your final lap, final lap of the race. Yeah, ammo drop. This ammo crate. The gap to teammate behind is 45.3 seconds. Yeah, ammo caches are around the map, and so is health packs. So it's always best to uh, swap out certain perks with your characters. So I always try and get. Uh, Molotovs with the flamethrower guy, the guy with the shotgun, the Native American, he has a hatchet you can chuck, the guy with the two guns has got a neck gun and he's got proximity mines, so yeah, like I say, each, each coast has got their own perks and that, so, <coughs> excuse me, so yeah, it's well worth uh, the game if you just want to have some laughs with a with friends if you want to take it serious get it on pc and get the best version if you want to play serious i can't play serious with uh primal carnage as much as i really want to that's why i just have i have fun playing the game just as it is but sometimes ping is the issue where you can jump at a player and you go three foot behind him or beside him because there's lag due to the ping but Hopefully that will get rectified when we have the updates. So be a little bit more balanced hopefully. And I'll come up to the final two corners to win the race. So yeah, it's been a pretty good uh, race. I had a good uh, few discussions in this uh, video. So yeah, not too bad. Fantastic drive, just fantastic. You deserve that race win. They've done it then. Here at Suzuka, a brilliant win on this beloved figure of eight circuit. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much-deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all.
So, let's review the driver's standings. Lee increases their championship lead. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? It's got to be Valtteri Bottas, a commanding performance that I think had the audience's eyes glued to him for the majority of the race. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. So I was right about Nikita Mazepin with the Haas and Pearl Alchemy retired. So that's not too bad. But that was a bad race. Enjoyable in the wet with intermediate tyres. I prefer intermediate conditions over for wet. And let's have a listen to what we got to talk about now in the uh, press conference. It looks like our driver has an issue. We need not an easy decision, but you handled it well. Thanks. Right, let's have a look what we can do. Three day, one day, one day, four day. I don't care about the durability in there. I care about the uh, fundraising, second driver and extra income. 7.7 .7 mil. This is looking interesting. Here, I would ask us I spent money didn't know for the contract period, which is a little bit ridiculous in all fairness. Uh, badge, I want to change the badge. I need to change the emblem to a specific particular emblem. Do that right, let's stop. I can make it stick out a little bit by like that. Do thirty five. Do thirty five. Two forty. Ninety five. That's identical, I'll accept that. Uh, hold on. Do you know what? I might take that one. Why do I go with that bit of white at the front? I'll take that for now. Right. I have to change the logo because that looks like the uh, rich energy, uh, so called. Stag logo may not be the best looking one, but it's similar to the to it until I can get the stag itself. But this is quite funny. <laughs> Eight point four mil. Looks like my idea of getting a new teammate next season might just pay off. With um. Nico Rosberg, I've got enough money for Nico. Definitely got enough. 8,000 R&D points for that. I ain't sure if we're having a reset yet because it's not come through and I'm not wasting, I'll say I'm not wasting any more R&D points. I'm not going to spend any more R&D points on this until I know there's going to be a reset because I've got to save, save up and it could could go to multiple um, departments but I'm going to leave this video here I'm going to say thank you very much for watching please like subscribe share 
hit that bell for notifications or as i do post daily content and until the next one i will see you all later bye